Do you, do, you, do you think you're being unfairly targeted for the comments you've been making? Do you feel like these terms are? Yes, absolutely. You, you know, I mean, anti-Semitic statements are never good for anybody, right? It's kind of like being anti-black. But, you know, it's really interesting. I didn't realize that I could be considered anti-Semitic until I read one of the definitions of anti-Semitism. Look at this. The definition says, making mendacious, dehumanizing, demonizing, or stereotypical allegations about Jews as such, or the power of Jews as a collective, such as, especially, but not exclusively, this sounds like a, I'm gonna let them go by. All right, so it says, think about it, that sounds like the type of wording that's in the contracts, right? Indeed. Okay, it says, such as, especially, but not exclusively, the myth about a world Jewish conspiracy or of Jews controlling the media, economy, government, or other societal institutions. But isn't that what you said? That Jews run everything? Yeah, but that actually is considered to be anti-Semitic. Right. So I didn't realize that it was anti-Semitic to say, hey, you know, yeah. I have a... Jewish attorney, I have a Jewish record label, I have a Jewish contractor, I have a Do you Jewish... regret your statements? Or the statements you think you should be walking back? I what mean, you, considering... What do you mean walking back? Well, you know, backing up off of them. I mean, the thing is, you've, you've lost a lot of endorsements, people are dropping you, you're getting, you know, vilified, you know, I mean, you might think you're right, but I think, you know, there's a lot, there's a whole world out there that's condemning you for, for what you said. Okay, so this right here is a chart of... Uh, Universal Studios, 20th, 20th Century Fox, ABC News, CBS, CBS News, Columbia Pictures, uh, Warner Brothers, ESPN Sports, Fox News, Washington Post, Metro Goldwyn Meyer, MTV Music Television, Nickelodeon, USA Today, Wall Street Journal, Comedy Central, NBC Entertainment, um, uh, Google, uh, what else do we have? Disney, ABC Kids and Family, YouTube, Los Angeles Times, Discovery Network, Paramount Pictures, Facebook, Huffington Post, Yahoo, Marvel, Hulu, Cosmopolitan, Time, um, Touchstone, Associated Press, uh, Pixar, Miramax, HBO, New York Post, Lucas Arts, MSNBC, uh, DreamWorks Animation. Now, the thing is, I skipped over maybe about five of them because it was just unclear on this list. The red are the executives that are Jewish at these companies. Do you think they stuck together when they heard what you said? Was that was that the is that what happened? Well, what I said is, hey, you know, I have I've had experiences where it felt like I was being teamed up on, and I didn't realize that that term would be considered to be anti-Semitic. So I had a a mediation um, with Adidas today, and. I think Adidas felt like because everyone else was uh, ganging up on me that they had the right to just take my designs. And I feel like uh, right now, I feel like that was in, in Christianity. We don't say we don't say karma. We say uh, you reap what you sow. And I feel like this is God humbling me right now because it's two things that are happening. A lot of times when I would say, oh, I'm the richest black man, it would be a defense that I would use for the mental health conversation. To say, oh, you guys say I'm crazy, but look at this, I made money. And but but that is not godlike to be showing off. So if it's not godlike, then God will take that because it's it's all it's all the church's money, right? So 
what's happening right now is I'm being humbled. Another thing that's happening is by me being uh, burned to the flesh every single day, it's actually proving, um, it's actually proving what I had to say. So um, when I went to the mediation, what I want to say is like black people are like, okay, Lex Friedman got you to apologize. Uh, Pierce Morgan got you to apologize to the Jews, but you never apologized to us about the George Floyd comment that made us feel bad. Now, the thing is, OK, JFK, they got a lot of documentaries about how it happened. So we can argue about how it happened, which I like the fact that we can do that. But regardless, when I see that video as a black person, it hurts my feelings. And I know that police do attack and America is generally racist. And I understand that when we got to say Black Lives Matter, that the idea of it, the idea of it made us feel good together as, as, a, as a person, uh, as, as a people, right? When, uh, let me say it so the sound bite is better for you guys. When the idea of Black Lives Matter came out, it made us come together as a people. Now afterwards, yes, there was some, uh, there was some things where the money went, there were some things where it was used in order to push us to the Democratic vote. There were people exactly. behind and involved. That happened. But the general feeling. So when I said that and I and I and I questioned the death of George Floyd, it hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurting them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing. I know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now. So I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt. Because how could the richest black man ever be humbled other than to be made to not be a billionaire in front of everyone off of one comment? That actually, if you look at the definition of DEF CON, it means to get extra defense, which obviously I must have needed. Yeah. I must have needed that extra defense. Are you worried you ruined your legacy, Kanye? How? 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 Well, stop. I'm, I'm, um, I'm not worried. I'm just not worried. Period. God is alive. God runs the world. You know, God even runs Hollywood. Amen. God is alive, and He's using me right now. He chose me for such a time like this to be, to basically for the, for the media to put their knee on my neck, for Adidas to put their knee on my neck. All I ever wanted at Adidas, I left Nike because Nike wouldn't give me a percentage for my shoes when I had the Red October. And my girlfriend at the time was pregnant and I needed to get some money because if I was the kid that just had the red shoes, I could have never been a black man wearing a red hat. When the, when the, like Nike would have shut me down immediately, right? Right, yeah. But because Adidas was a German company, it gave me a little bit more room to be able to express myself and to actually have a political opinion as an American. That I wasn't forced into an opinion, a political opinion because of the color of my skin. Now let's talk about the red hat mm -hmm. the, uh, and let's talk about the similarities to the White Lives Matter t-shirt. Mm -hmm. The thing about the red hat that drove me to a point of exhaustion which was misdiagnosed by a, I'm not going to say what race, what people, uh, doctor and what hospital and what media went to. We know I can't say that. It was a Jewish doctor that diagnosed me of having a disorder that would have had me on medication right now. At a time like this, if I was on medication, right now then one pill could have been swapped out and it would be michael jackson and prince all over again but because i didn't take the misdiagnosis and i didn't take the the uh medication i'm able to speak to you guys clear of thought and transparently now let me talk about the red hat wearing the maga hat the way that hollywood political agenda attacked me and put me to a point of exhaustion was death by a thousand cuts. Everyone would say something to me from a driver to my ex-wife to Adidas. Everyone would say something. 
So when I wore that White Lives Matter, I said, I'm not going through this again. <laughs> I'm not going. Hey, y'all going to leave me alone about my T-shirt. Because what's the point of having influence and having money and people could come up and just pinch you? But, but don't you think having influence, you <laughs> have a responsibility? Kind of. And that's the responsibility that I'm taking right here. Exactly. Don't you think that's why are, you asked that question? But, but don't you think You're it's, it's dangerous reason. rhetoric to be anti-Semitic to say all lives He's matter or oh, white lives matter? Are you oh, I'm asking. You're not saying white lives matter anti-Semitic. Exactly. That's what I, you no, just that, asked. I'm not saying that's anti-Semitic. No, no, you just said that though. No, and I, but and you, I misspoke. But, but I'm you, saying no, you didn't. That was a You didn't I'm trying to. I'm trying to correct myself. Okay, correct yourself. To walk around with white lives matter. Do you want to walk back that statement? Exactly. Sure, I will. You got to walk back. <laughs> do you think maybe that? Do you think maybe no, that? No, no, wait a second. He's gonna walk back. But I'm saying you're, you're wearing the White Lives Matter shirt, um, and Black Lives Matter, and a lot of people think that you're you're being anti-black by saying no. How? What? Let him talk. In America, black people don't take all the rights that we have. That are actually given to us because we weren't given what we were promised in the first place, which was the 40 acres. Instead, we were given- And a mule. A, yeah, and a mule. Instead, we were given projects and bad food and posters of Oprah Winfrey <laughs> and also Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. People said to me multiple times, visit the Holocaust Museum. I said, visit our Holocaust Museum. It's called Planned Parenthood. Six million Jews died in the Holocaust, and I am sorry for your losses. 20 million blacks died to abortion, mm -hmm. and Planned Parenthood was made by Margaret Sanger with the real KKK as population control. Margaret Sanger is a eugenics and is working today. The number one cause of death for black people in America is abortion. The most dangerous place for a black man today, or a black baby, black woman, is in their mother's stomach. Mm. And that is a programming that's pushed through, I got a new word for 2024, um, the red media. Mm. That is the red media. If you go to Apple right now, if you go to Apple right now, go to Apple Music. Let's load up the top 10 songs. I guarantee you they're promo promoting black serial killing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Not just one. They're promoting black. The red media is making money off of blacks being serial killers to each other. Mm. Also misogynistic. The red media is making money off of that. Mm. And God sees it. But I understand and I'm not judging because the oppressed becomes the oppressor. Mm -hmm. And it is our time now. Blacks are coming into money. We are not scared anymore. And I showed you that I crossed that line. They tried to bankrupt me. They tried to say I was crazy and I'm alive. We haven't had a full, a full black, black community since the gentrification of Harlem and Black Wall Street, which was torn down. Mm -hmm. But I know my brothers, my engineers, my architects, my farmers are gonna rise up. And if it meant they had to take me and drag me like Emmett Till in front of everyone because I whistled, I know my brothers, my engineers. And I have no reason to lie. My family was taken away from me. My reputation has been smeared. I get it. <clears throat> so let's close with a prayer. Father God, thank you. Thank you for keeping me alive. Thank you for the voice. Thank you for the clarity. Thank you for the experience. And thank you for the love. Because even though the real hate is what's happening on the media, and the idea of DEF CON was to get protected for a time like this, let's lead with love. I have no association to any hate group. If any hate happens upon any Jewish person, it is not associated because I am demanding that everyone walk in love. Even though there's been things that have happened wrong to me that made me want to speak up that you guys saw in the past two weeks. 
You saw the power. You saw Ari Emanuel come out in public and ask, if that happened in public, what do you think happened in private? And what do you think happened in private to so many people for so many years? But what I'm telling everyone, no matter what background you are, no matter what socioeconomic class you are, walk with love right now. Walk, do what God would want. What would Jesus do? Walk with love, spread love, spread happiness. I thought that I wasn't gonna be like MLK and stand there. I, I, there's times I felt very Ma Malcolm X, but for some reason God has called me to love and to ask for love for everyone. It's time for us just to love because love is the answer. It is the only way. Gandhi said, someone who was actually considered to be a racist, right? Gandhi said, an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Father God, spread the love, put the love in our hearts and know that we are not each other's en enemy, but we're all children of you. And you can bring this world to a peaceful place on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Love you guys. Good Thank you, Kanye. Thank you, man. We love you. Kanye, can I get you? I'm done with my energy, son. Thank, Thank you, Kanye.